What's cracking, everyone? I wanted to just sit down and do my makeup. I've been feeling very nostalgic recently, so I was just kind of scrolling on my channel, just like looking at all my videos. I feel like I've done this same video a million times where I just sit down and do my makeup and just talk, but I don't. And I realized that's because I do film this video all the time. I just don't post it. So today I'm actually just gonna do it. I have been sick for the last like two weeks. So that's why I look and sound like this. But I just wanted to do like a little updated everyday makeup, even though I obviously don't wear makeup every day. I was looking at my channel, like I said, the last time I did an everyday makeup routine was when I was a sophomore and I'm graduated now. I'm gonna start off with moisturizer. I was on a Vaseline on my nose because I have been sick and I've been blowing my nose a lot and it makes my nose really dry and Vaseline is like a really good moisturizer for like extra, extra dry skin. I'm using my Don't Flake moisturizer by Clean and Clear. They just sent me some new ones, which I'm really excited about. I've been having a really weird time. So I've been sick two different times. The first time I think I got something for my stepdad because it was like the same as his and I thought my mono was coming back, but like it wasn't. It was just his sickness. I don't even know what it was. And then I got better. Now I just have like a cold. I've been doing just a lot of sleeping and having like just doing nothing in my bed, which is really nice actually. But it's just been making me like have a crisis. I freaking hate coughing. I think it's literally so gross. And if you cough into your hands, that's gross. If you cough literally anywhere besides into your elbow or maybe like in your shirt, which I still think is gross because then you're like getting germs like on your chest which i think is like worse than having it in your elbow cough in your elbow do not cough in your hands because then you go around touching a lot of things and it's just really like it grosses me out i've just been really like feeling weird about who i am and i know i talk about this literally all the time and i'm sure it's like starting to get repetitive but it's just like new things every time that i'm like wow I don't know myself at all and I feel like no one else does because if I don't know myself then who does? The crisis this week has been about my personality. Not my clothes, not my style, not anything like that. Just my personality and how I act and how I portray myself to other people. I feel like everyone I really look up to like Tyler the Creator, Lana Del Rey, I don't know, just like all of my idols, Ariana Grande, they just have such like set personalities that you just like and they're just so them and you can just tell when you think of like Tyler the Creator, like what words pop into your head, like oh like loud, funny, says whatever he wants. But then I was like, how would I describe my personality? And I just don't know. And I just feel like I'm so bland. Okay, I'm gonna talk about my makeup just a little bit. I just put concealer kind of like down here because that's kind of my only problem areas. My skin is still looking pretty good. If you guys want like a skincare routine, I just did one like a few months ago and nothing's really changed. So um, I'll leave that link down below. Anyways, my personality. <laughs> Back to talking about myself. I just, I really don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Even like my boyfriend, I know I haven't like talked about him that much. So like you guys probably don't really know what his personality is like. He's just like, he's really funny. He makes like everyone laugh. He's really loud sometimes too. I don't know. He's just so himself around everyone. And that's something that I'm like really jealous of because I just get really nervous. Like I feel like I'm not even myself around myself because I don't really know how I am. And I don't want to like discipline myself by like acting a certain way, even if it's just like me being normal. I don't know. I asked my boyfriend the other day if I was weird and he was like, yes and i felt kind of bad but he was like i'm weird and i was like well yeah i know and he was like okay then why do you feel bad that you're weird and i was like i don't know i don't know but like i just don't know what my personality is at the same time like i don't want to be put in a box of like oh yeah i want to be like this this and this because eventually that just gets old and boring and people change over time that's another thing i wanted to talk about people online like changing and stuff and like branding i'm sorry my voice is probably like horrible to listen to. Obviously like a lot of YouTubers have branding and I don't want to throw out any names because I don't just like I just don't really want to talk about other people specifically but y'all know what I mean like this person loves this and this they kind of like milk it for what it's worth because it's like oh yeah like this is just my thing. Um I've never really had that. Is this what I do next? I forgot how to do my makeup. I just put powder over my nose but it's okay I'm gonna put cream on it again. I have no facial structure so like I go in pretty hard with my contour. Anyways back to what I was saying about branding and stuff. I've never really had like branding and like that was something I was always kind of jealous of because other people were like yeah this is like 
my thing and I talk about this all the time and it's just kind of like my inside joke with my subscribers or my followers or whatever. Like I said, I never really had that because like I didn't really have anything that I was like, oh yeah, like this is my thing and I really like because like I've mentioned a million times, I'm like super, super like indecisive. I was watching, I think it was the Dolan Twins video with Shane. I've never watched a Dolan Twins video before. I'm like nothing against them. I, their just content wasn't really for me. That video was just like in my recommended over and over again because it has a lot of views and stuff is really popular. I think it was that video and Shane was just saying that like branding's just not good because then when you change and grow like your subscribers are just kind of confused because you like outgrow things and you move on and you change and I just think that's like it's so true. It's so true and like I've seen having branding kind of like backfire on people. You change or you outgrow something or like you just stop talking about it because it's just kind of you know it's over and then people are like confused and they're like I miss the old person and when they used to just like only do this and this and this because that was like their brand and it just kind of makes growing up and like moving on and just moving forward into life harder for like those types of people. I'll leave all my makeup products I'm leaving down below. I'm still blending in this freaking contour thing and hoping it looks decent. Like I said, I ain't got no facial structure. I ain't got them cheekbones really. Sorry, I'm just looking at myself. I should look at you. I got this Glossier brow pen. It's like a new thing like a while ago. And I didn't really like it, but now I've been using it just to like fix the ends of my eyebrows to make them a lot more even. Anyways, back to what I was kind of originally saying at the beginning. I just kind of have a hard time like being like, yes, I am like this. But then I also don't want to put myself in a box because I think that's literally the worst thing you can do, especially like when you don't really like know what's going on with yourself. Um, I don't know. Uh, Glossier Boy Brow, I think is my favorite eyebrow product because it just like completely fills in my eyebrows without me having to like use a my pen that I always use, even though I did just use my other Glossier thing. Another thing I wanted to say, and I think it was my last video by the time I post this, my last video, I said something about going on a date and a lot of people were like, I thought she had a boyfriend. My date was my boyfriend. I don't know why I didn't just say my boyfriend. I kind of just have a hard time talking about him. Um, not because I don't want to talk about him because I do. Some people are just invasive on the internet and it's just not my favorite thing. But then if I talk about it, I'm also kind of like allowing them to kind of be invasive because I started the conversation and people aren't just the best about respecting privacy. I can say that because I was that at one time when I was a huge stan of some YouTubers. I was just not the best with respecting their privacy, but they're obviously like, you know, and I'm like, I'm realizing that literally like almost all my products that I use are Glossier. If my skin's bad, I use this milk makeup foundation and I really like it, but the freaking like, it's like a roller thing. So you have to like roll it on your face and the freaking pump sucks and it like breaks all the time. And then I like can't use it for like four days because it just breaks and then it randomly starts working again. So, but I really have been liking like not being able to, or just like not wearing foundation and stuff up here because then I feel like whenever I do like blush and bronzer and highlight and stuff it like ruins my foundation. I'm not wearing foundation so I don't have to worry about that. My eyelids are like extremely veiny so I use a lot of concealer. Not even prime them because I usually don't even wear eyeshadow but just to cover up all the veins. It's kind of really the only place I wear concealer besides on my chin and around my nose. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Let me know down below. Besides, I'm trying really not to like read comments as much, which makes me sad because like a lot of people are nice, but then like a lot of people are just mean and comment on things. They just have no idea about like, for example, uh, a recent, I think it was still my last video I did, yeah. I tried on a bunch of different outfits and stuff and I was just posing, doing whatever, and someone was like, you're posing like really weird and cringy. Okay, maybe I was, but also the day before I filmed that, I got into like a scooter crash I literally crashed on one of those little scooter things and like flipped over it and like got really hurt So I was really sore so I couldn't like move very well and not that I'm like saying this because I want people to feel bad Like it's a freaking scooter I'm literally only triggered over it because I have fallen off a segue before and that was like the start of all my back pain So I was just like really upset that I fell because I was worried that it was gonna like hurt me forever It just like made me feel bad because I was like, oh well like I look stupid in this video But I was also hurt so like I couldn't really move that well I There's a story behind like everything um, but just some Sometimes if you just are nice to people and don't kind of comment mean things, then like, 
it's just better that way. Anyways, I'm fully recovered though. Even though I hurt my knee really bad the other day and like only freaking God knows how because it hurt so bad. I could walk, but I couldn't bend it. I posted a thing on Instagram. Here's uh, on my Instagram story. Here's like the photo of how freaking swollen my knee was and freaking only God knows why that actually happened. That's literally like, you know, when girls have like bruises all over the place and they're like, how did that get here? That was like how I was, but like times 10 because no idea how I literally injured my knee like horrendously. I'm almost done. I recently just realized that like you can put on multiple coats of mascara and it makes your eyelashes look fuller. Another Glossier product. Are we surprised? I don't know if I said this, but I'm gonna have everything I use linked down below. I genuinely really do like this mascara though. Oh, I know after this I'm gonna have to like take some selfies for a thumbnail and I'm not very good at that. When I say that like I'm having a crisis or whatever, I'm not trying to say it to be like relatable and like <laughs> I don't know who I am. It's genuinely something that like I struggle with really bad and will like I have full-on meltdowns over. I just need to not think about it so much. I need to think about other things other than myself. <laughs> Why does this look orange? I've been listening to a lot of Lana Del Rey, so that could be like a reason of why I'm freaking out all the time. I just wish I had like more confidence because truth be told, I'm really not that confident. I'm not just talking about appearance because appearance wise, I'm not that like insecure, honestly. It's taken me a long time to like come to terms with what I look like. But I just kind of mean like with my overall being. I know there's such like a stigma of like trying to be like so different and whatever. But like, it's not that I want to be different. I just want to like, be myself but then I like don't know who that is so that I'm just trying to like do a bunch of different things but then I'm like well if I'm like trying to do things then that's not gonna work I shouldn't have to try to be myself like I just naturally should be I know not everyone loves a big eyebrow look but I do last thing is lips I have this Glossier. I have Vaseline on right now so it's just a kind of darker lip color I think it's really pretty for fall there it is just on the bottom that looks really bright on camera. Now I'm gonna touch up my hair. I think I'm gonna do a how I style my perm video. This is just my makeup that I usually do. Um, I've also been liking to do like eyeliner, but I really, really like doing eyeliner with eyeshadow. I know, that's like weird, I think. I just think it's literally so much easier for me and like, I don't know if my eyes, I don't know. Winged eyeliner that's like really, really dark with liquid eyeliner just does not work for me. Even though I like still like to do it because it's fun. It just does not look good on my eye shape. Yeah, I got a few pieces I need to recurl. My perm is finally like, I actually like it now because it's simmered out a lot. I'll be back with the final reveal, which is literally gonna look no different, so. I'm all finished. I don't know. I like to keep it kind of natural. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, I'll have all the products I just use like down below. I am like sounding worse and worse by the minute. So I'm going to go eat and drink some water and take some vitamin C tablets. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for listening to me rant about how I don't know who I am or what my personality is. Bye. Mwah. Subscribe if you want and turn on the notification bell if you want. Okay. I sound horrible. Mwah.